disclosure that uh, almost all of these myths are just that myths. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, it's also frustrating to me you know, in a completely different field, you know, that I work in English language teaching. It's frustrating how many of these myths, they're just so established and um, and obviously because people hear them again and again and again, they just seem to get repeated down through generations and people accept them without question. Um, and it's, it's sometimes they're very persistent. It's difficult to get rid of them, right? Even with evidence. It's, it's remarkable. It's uh, remarkable and it seems to be the case in every society that has a tradition of standardization which has a written language and people who have had the idea of writing grammars uh, about this language. Also reading your work, uh, one thing I noticed is that you talk um, a lot about um, something from William Layboff, who was one of the great social linguists, um, who, who wrote The Principle of Accountability, which, which you quote a lot. I'm wondering if you could maybe...